हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल गुरमंत्र शिक्षा का ग्रंथ आई एम योर एजुकेटर निधि दुआ एंड आई टीच यू केमिस्ट्री एट दिस प्लेटफॉर्म टिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड आर सेक्शन वन सेक्शन टू एंड वी हैव स्टार्टेड सेक्शन थ्री इन सेक्शन थ्री वी हैव कवर्ड एस ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स पी ब्लॉक एलिमेंट्स एंड नाउ वी हैव two topics remaining number 1 is g block element and number 2 is coordination compound first of all we will discuss about coordination compound then we will cover up d block elements okay guys so this is this labels that we have covered till now and now we are going to study about the coordination compounds so basically coordination compounds are the molecules that possesses one or multiple metal center that is bound to ligand atoms ions or molecules that can donate electrons to the metal these complexes can be neutral or charged when the complex is charged it is stabilized by neighboring counter ions The concept of coordination compounds arises from the complex formation tendency of transition elements. As you know, d block elements are known as transition elements and these transition elements have the tendency to form complex compounds. These compounds play a vital role in our lives. Hemoglobin of blood and chlorophyll of plants are also coordination compounds of iron magnesium respectively now there are few types of salts few types of coordination complexes number 1 is the molecular or addition compounds simply when two or more simple salts solutions are mixed then they are subjected subjected for crystalline these crystals which are obtained after the addition of these two or more simple salts we will get the molecular or addition compounds for example as you can see here a simple compound agcn when react with kcn will form kcn dot agcn so the formation of kcn dot agcn is the molecular or addition compound the molecular or addition compounds are of two types number 1 is double salt or lattice compound and number 2 is coordination or complex compounds number 1 is double salt or lattice compounds the addition compound which undergoes complete ionization to form three types of ions that is two types of ketone and one type of anion or vice versa is known as double salt a double salt is a salt that contains more than one ketone and more than one anion example of double salt includes alum okay these double salts lose their identity in aqueous solution means these double salts are ionizable in nature for example when carnelite and carnelite is a complex compound having formula kcl dot mgcl2 dot 6h2o when carnelite is dissolved in water it exhibits the property of kcl and mgcl to both okay next is the coordination or complex compound these coordination or complex compounds are the addition are the addition compounds of the type that undergoes partial ionization to form a complex ion and these complex ion in aqueous solution is known as complex compounds they are partially hydrolyzed in water complexes retain their identity in aqueous solution that is they do not dissolve into separate ions they do not dissociate it into their ions for example k4fecn6 when reacting with h2o will dissociate into 4k+ and fecn6- in this case fecn6- 
this ion will not dissociate now there are few terminologies related to coordination compound number 1 is complex ion an aggregate of metal ions with anions cations or neutral molecule is known as complex ion means when a compound have all the type of metal ions for example it could be anion cation or neutral molecule then this is known as complex ion or complex compound next is central metal atom the metal atom which is form which forms complex ion in combination with anions cations or neutral molecule is known as central metal atom central metal ion acts as a electron pair acceptor and forms coordinate covalent bond the central metal has tendency to accept a electron pair from a ligand ligands are those compounds which can donate electron pair while central atoms while central metal ion acts as a electron pair acceptor next is the coordination number the number of ligands that can combine with the central metal ion to form complex ion is known as coordination number from every ligand central metal ion accepts lone pair of electron and the total number of co coordinate covalent bond formed by the central metal ion with ligand is known as coordination number or simply you can say the total number of ligands present in a complex compound will tell you about the coordination number okay next is the coordination sphere the central metal ion and ligands directly attached to it are collectively termed as coordination sphere coordination sphere is always written in a square bracket for example as you can see here these square brackets are showing you the coordination sphere the part outside the bracket that is called ionization sphere and the species and the ions that are present inside this square bracket square bracket in coordination sphere are non ionizable okay now as you can see here in this example the substance the compounds which are present inside the square bracket are known as coordination sphere or non ionizable ions the ions present outside this square bracket are known as ionization sphere the total number of ligands present in a compound will tell you the coordination number as you can see here there are four there is four coordination number and ligand is nh3 and central metal ion present in this compound is cu that is your copper next terminology is oxidation state oxidation state simply is the number which represents the electrical charge which simply represents the charge on central metal atom of a complex ion next terminology is charge on the complex ion or the total charge the charge on the complex ion is the algebraic sum of total charge of the ligand and central metal ion now what are ligands now we are going to discuss about the ligands in brief the anions cations or neutral molecules which combines with central metal ion to form complex ion are known as ligands these ligands acts as a electron pair donor okay and when the compounds are electron pair donor these are known as lewis bases but strong crystal field ligands like carbon monoxide cn minus etc can accept electron pair from the metal ion because these ligands are pi acids okay now 
the atoms ions or molecules which can donate lone pair to the central atom or ions is known as ligands as you have seen earlier ligands are of following types based on the number of lone pair donated to the same central metal atom or ion forming five or six membered ring ligands can donate one electron pair to many electron pairs and on that basis we can classify ligands for example monodentate ligands bidentate ligands polydentate ligands etc and when the when more than two pair of electrons are donated then these type of ligands are known as polydentate ligands and these polydentate ligands are also known as chelating ligands or chelating ligands number 1 is the monodentate ligand but first of all you need to understand about the concept of denticity denticity means total number of electron pair donated by a ligand is known as denticity okay and we have very we have three main type of monodentate ligand mono means single and dentate means electron pair donator means in case of monodentate ligand only single pair of electron is donated by ligand and this single pair of electron is accepted by central metal atom monodentate ligand is a ligand that has only one atom that coordinates directly to the central atom in a complex now there are three main types of monodentate ligands neutral monodentate ligands cationic monodentate ligands and anionic monodentate ligands in case of neutral monodentate ligands there are many examples you have to learn all the examples and you have to learn you have to memorize the names of these examples these names will help you to do nomenclature of complex compound that topic we will cover in the next video lecture what you have to learn in this neutral monodentate ligands is you have to learn the name of carbon monoxide that is carbonyl now this this is known as pyridine nh2c double bond o nh2 is urea and nh2 nh2 is hydrogen these all are the examples of neut neutral monodentate ligands and highlighted ones are very important next is the cationic ligands cationic monodentate ligands in cationic monodentate ligands there are three example number 1 is no2 plus that is nitronium number 2 is no plus that is nitrosonium and number third is nh2 nh3 plus that is hydrogenium all three examples are very important you need to memorize all the cationic ligands and the cationic ligands end up with the suffix em that is i u m number 3 is the anionic monodentate ligands the example of anionic monodentate ligands are as follows what you have to remember the most important example of anionic monodentate ligands are o minus 2 that is oxido or oxo next is o2 minus that is super oxido next is o2 minus 2 that is known as per oxido now n minus 3 nitrido n3 minus azido nh2 minus amido and nh minus 2 is imido all the examples are very important second type of ligand is bidentate ligand bidentate means these type of ligands will have their denticity as 2 bidentate is a ligand that has two teeth or atoms that coordinate directly to the central atom in a complex there are four examples of bidentate ligands number 1 is ethylene diamine number 2 is oxalato number 3 is glycinito and number 4 is dimethyl glyoximato which is also known as dmg next is the polydentate ligands these polydentate ligands has 
the density more than 2 and if you know the density then you will you can calculate the rings present in a particular ligand you can calculate the chelating rings with the formula density minus 1 for example as you can see here in the polydentate ligand the example is diethylene triamine there are three ligands present in this diethylene triamine the ligand is triamine that's why the density is 3 and to calculate the chelating ring what you need to remember what you need to have is the density and the formula of chelating ring is density minus 1 if the density is 3 then 3 minus 1 is 2 that is chelating ring in case of triethylene tetraamine the density is 4 as there are 4 ligands are present tetraamine density is 4 and ring is 3 rings are present okay next example is ethylene diamine triacetate there are 5 ligands present diamine triacetate and ring is 4 okay this is all about the polydentate ligand now i hope you all are cleared about the ligands number four type is ambidient ligands ligands which has two donor atoms but at a time only one can donate electron pair these type of ligands are known as ambidient ligands for example mcn that is cyanido this CN group can act as an ambidient ligand. Here, carbon can donate electron pair as well as nitrogen can donate electron pair. When carbon donates an electron pair to the central metal at atom, then this is known as cyanido. And when nitrogen donates the electron pair to central metal atom, that is known as isocyanido. So, ambidient ligands are the ligands which can bond to the central atom in two places. This is because they have more than one donor atom which can coordinate. It is important to note that these ligands are capable of bonding to a central atom through two different atoms but only bonds with one of them at a particular time. So this is all about the ligands. Now I hope you all are cleared about the general overview of coordination compound. And in the in next lecture, we will discuss about the nomenclature of these complex compounds. Now, if you are new here at our YouTube channel, please do like, share and subscribe. You can also join our Telegram channel, Gurmantra for new updates. And if you have any query, you can mail us on Taneja Neha official at the rate gmail.com. Now, there is very important announcement. If you are preparing for CSIR UGC net, you can follow Neha Taneja ma'am on an academy platform. On an academy platform, you will get daily live classes, structural courses, live tests and quizzes and with one subscription, you will get unlimited access. If you are interested, you can go through with this detailed paid classes. While taking the detailed paid classes, you can use referral code Neha that is N-E-H-A and after using this referral code, you will get 10% discount on total fee. Thank you very much guys. I hope you like the video.